There's something you said, um, and I and I don't know what your thoughts on this because uh, you know having benchmarks for students at specific, and I don't know if you meant specific times, but I think this is one of the common, or this is one of the things I hear often in education is like, hey, we need to know when kids are like, are kids at this benchmark at this point? Uh, so I don't know if, I can't remember if it was the book Outliers, is a Malcolm Gladwell book. Mm-hmm. And I, this is something that connects with me because I'm Canadian. So it was actually like a right. Canadian example. <laughs> so they, they actually talked about um, hockey players in the NHL. So a huge, and I don't know if this is still true, uh, but at the time of the book, and, and I'm going from memory of reading this book several years ago, years ago it, it was yeah. basically saying like the majority of NHL hockey players were born in January, February, and March, right? So they were born in those three months. So why, why is that? Like, what was the, and so like, and I can't remember if it was outliers. It was something, it was a Malcolm Gladwell book for sure. So mm-hmm. don't quote me on, on the exact book or even I'm probably screwing up the story too. <laughs> so this sounds good. Say it Yeah. Like even if I make this up, it sounds good. So the, so like basically the, what he had, what he had connected was. So like, if you think about a kid who's so in Canada growing up, a kid that is five years old in it, that turns five in January and a kid who turns five in December playing in the same league. Well, basically one fifth of their life. Yeah. They're like a year apart with only being alive for five years. And so (laughs) what happens right away is those kids that are, you know, older by a few months, which is like a huge percentage of their lifetime at that point, start getting actually weeded to like the better leagues. Right. And then they get the better coaching they get all these other things. And so like a lot of the kids that were born in December, you know, don't have that. Now, I don't know when Sidney Crosby or Wayne Gretzky were born or anything (laughs) like that, but, but that was one of the things. And so like understanding there is like, you know, especially our early learners, there's a huge discrepancy in age for kids in the same grade, like in kindergarten, right? Like there's a a, a January kid versus a December kid or have a a difference, you know, in, in time. Right. And so then, so that sometimes, so I don't know if that, that, I don't know if there's been any um, research or connections to that uh, in education, but when you think of it, like I, I, there's a there's research, and then there's just like, hey, oh yeah, that's like like when I explain it to you, I don't know if you ever heard that story, but you're like, oh yeah, that totally makes sense, right? You could I can yeah, see it would sense, and I think just a common idea, yeah. yeah, absolutely. One of the clarifying things I wanted to jump into, especially using the hockey story and different things, when I was saying where students are at a certain time. Right. One of the things I want to be clear is what I mean by that is I'm not comparing them to the other 23 kids in the class. Right, right. We're just comparing themselves to themselves. Right. So if, if the student who was, you know, for us in, in, in our public education here, we see that for the student who was born in August and the student who was born in September because September starts school, August, that kid gets a whole nother year and right. they start a year later. Right. So that common assessment for benchmarking, again, from the, my job is when I was curriculum director and principal, it was for themselves. Right. So if I was eight months older than my, the kid who was sitting next to me, I'm not judged versus each other. We're, I'm judged about myself. And I think that's, that's where common assessment gets lost is that we're not comparing, it's not a group comparison. It's making sure that each student continues to grow right. at an appropriate pace. 